Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to use this I.O. expander. It's uh, hidden in here to get more I.O. pins. Let's get started with this. I'm using this one today. Actually, in the LCD display, there are nothing here. And this one, there's the chip here. This chip is same as this one. It got eight pins and these eight pins goes here. So we can save the pin. The wiring connection is here. Uh, SDA to B7, SCL to B6, uh, ground to ground. The VCC, if you connect to 3.3 volt, we get 3.3 volt IO pins. If you connect to 5 volt, we get 5 volt IO pins. And we zoom in. These are the pins we can get. 8 pins are there. I connected LED for each pins through a 202 ohm resistor to ground. And there are jumpers here. If you put the jumpers on this side, all of them, the I2C address is 20. Or we put 44, hex 44, STM32. If you change this one to other side, it will the address will be different. The wiring connection here. And let's zoom in and see. And like this. Now I am in the QID. If anybody doesn't know how to work with QID, I have made a separate video, it's available here. Let's click uh, File, New, STM32 Project. For the commercial part number, we put F103C8. We select this one. Next. Uh, I put IO. Click System Core. Sys. For the debug serial wire. Uh, select Connectivity and uh, i2c1 for the i2c i2c that's all the setting we can click save for simplicity i have given the code in my website the link is in the description below this is the one uh, diagram is here the setting is here the q by d uh, code is here for the user code zero we copy from here until user code end zero we copy and we paste in the same place in the cube ide go to user code zero is here we paste it and in the while loop we copy from here until here copy go to cube ide we paste it in here that's all the code we can save. Uh, so in the user code zero, uh, I have given the read uh, all. It read all the pins. It read only one pin. Uh, I have given to you, but uh, I'm not using it today. Uh, we can write all the pins, and this is the one I'm going to use today. We write for uh, pin number and the value. If pin number is two, and the value can be zero or one. Um, and toggle also there we will use it later on and in the while loop we set the pin number 0 to 1 and then after 350 milliseconds we put the pin number 0 to 0 and then likewise pin number 1 to 1 pin number 1 to 0 that's all we can upload the code we click this button if you board is clone board you can use in the link I have given the way you can upload the code in that way. Click OK. Yeah, the code is uploaded. I have uploaded the code. It's working. Uh, in the future video, I do the input pins also multiple I/O expanders, and I'll put in in somewhere here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.